Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and I had two, and today we're going to be taking a look at a super tiny portable SSD from Silicon Power. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this super, super small portable SSD from Silicon Power. This is the PC60, and there's a range of drives in various sizes. 240 gig, 500 gig, 960 gig, and 1.92 terabytes. Slightly odd uh, sizes there, but you get the general idea. So essentially this is a one terabyte drive, give or take a little bit of formatting. So what is the benefits of this particular device? Well, it's tiny, it is really tiny. 80 mils square and only 11 mils, so you can quite easily slip this into a shirt pocket, your jeans pocket, whatever it is, and you barely know it's there. It only weighs around about 50 grams, so it's super lightweight, and if you're traveling, this isn't gonna take you over your luggage allowance, that's for sure. So let's take a look at the packaging. We'll go through some of the specs, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. I have actually been using this for a couple of days now, doing some video editing and all that kind of stuff, taking pictures, transferring files. So I'll give you an update on that towards the end of the video. But let's take a look at the packaging first of all. So as you can see, it's the usual deal from Silicon Power. Very simple, very elegant, does what it's meant to do. So on the front, it's got the key fob design, it's also shockproof and also it's pocket size as we've mentioned. So when it says shockproof, there is limited shockproof on this. It's not rubberized in any way, it's not industrialized. It is a hardened plastic case. But because it is a DRAM based drive, there are no moving parts, so it is relatively resilient. Now some speeds are quoted on the front here. So we're looking at 540 megabytes on the read and 500 megabytes per second on the write. And it's also using a USB Type-C connection. So that's USB Type-3.2, or whatever they've decided to name it this week. Also on the front, it mentions about the LED. There is a tiny LED on there, which gives you some idea of what activity is happening with the drive. Moving around to the rear, we've got the specs. So I'll give you a quick look at those in detail. And that is pretty much it for the packaging. So let's crack it open and see what we get. Okay, so this is the kind of unboxing I really enjoy. There's basically not a lot to look at. So we get this installation guide and tells you a little bit about your warranty and some of the specifications. You get the drive itself, which again, is absolutely tiny. And you get a pretty short USB type A to USB type C cable, which actually has got a quite a nice braiding on it. It actually does feel pretty quality it's unlikely to get damaged in transit. Now talking of getting damaged in transit, this is the drive itself. And as you can see, hopefully, from the camera angles, it's got this kind of concentric square design on the outside edges, and you've got the Silicon Power logo there in the middle. Also in this top corner, we've got a section here, so you can put through like a carabiner or your keychain, something like that, just to keep it safe. Or you can just use a neck strap, that kind of thing. Personally, myself, I don't think I'll use anything. I'll just slip it into my pocket and be done with it. It's actually quite handy. It's quite small, and it's very odd having a terabyte, pretty much, of storage in my hand in this smaller form factor. And it is, realistically, about the size of an iPhone. Just the bottom half of an iPhone is ridiculously small. So this is the 960 gigabyte version, and I've been testing this today, as I've been talking about. And actually, I've used this to put some video footage on, and the video that you're watching now, will actually all be edited on this drive. So in Adobe Premiere, no issues at all. So this is gonna be perfect for media or content creators. So if you wanna put your images on here, and speaking of which, if you put photos on here or MP3s, that kind of thing, you're gonna get a ton of storage, obviously depending on which size you get, but these will hold an impressive amount of data considering the small size. But anyway, going back into Adobe Premiere, no problems with this, absolutely fine. And to be honest with you, it worked as well, if not as good, as my internal SSDs and NVMe drives. Data transfers as standalone drive, transfer and video footage, etc. I was getting around about 450 megabits per second, so that's a little bit less than what they rated, but still more than adequate. And I'll put up some of the details from the benchmarks that I've done already. So as you can see, not absolutely stellar results, but certainly good enough. Now this has actually come down in price considerably, considering what these drives used to cost. At the moment, in the US, this costs just under $100, which actually is around about the same price as some of the 500 gig models. So to get 960 gigabytes for around about $100 at the time 
is pretty awesome. I will put some affiliated links in the description so you can check out the pricing in your local regions and see if this is the thing for you. Now spec-wise, I've taken this apart to have a look inside and there's not really a great deal inside either. Inside the motherboard itself is a standard kind of USB to SATA type controller and it's based on the Silicon Motion SM2259 XT model. Now this is a slightly lower priced version and actually removes the need for any DRAM cache. This is a cacheless drive and it actually uses some of the NAND as cache whilst in operation, which in normal use is absolutely fine, but for sustained workloads, you may find the buffering a little bit too much and the drive will slightly start crawling to a little bit of a halt. Not a completely deal breaker. Essentially, this isn't really designed for mass file and bulk storage. It's designed for backups and quick transportation. And with the SATA 6 controller on there, it actually doesn't do too bad at all. Now this can actually be used as a backup device. So if you've got something like, say for instance, our Acer Aspire laptop, which has only got a 500 gig hard drive, Quite often, you maybe want to take a backup of it in case it gets damaged or lost or stolen. So you can actually download some software from Silicon Power, which is free of charge, and that supports AES encryption, so you can back up your laptop to your portable device. So if you lose this bit, you've still got this bit. So all in all, that is pretty much it spec-wise. It's by no means blazing fast, but it certainly does get the job done. And considering its alternative products, which are actually more expensive and lower capacities, I think this is definitely worth a look. It actually does look like a really interesting device, and I think if you put it on your desk, you'd probably get a lot of interest, people asking what the heck it actually is. And with the USB Type-C port, you can pretty much plug this into anything, and cables are really easy to come by, so you can plug it into a, directly to a USB Type-C device or a USB Type-A device, and this will work with Mac OS, Windows devices, and even Android devices from version 6 upwards. So yeah, pretty cool, very small, very compact, fits in my jean pockets absolutely perfectly so yeah i think this one's going to be sticking around for a little while but let me know what you think of it in the comment section below but in the meantime i've been mike this is my unboxing reviews now too and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video thanks for watching